Welcome to a brand new podcast. And this is the Oracle 19. And my name is Greatness. You can shop online to our baby shopping mall, which is www.evolutionoflondon.com. There we have household products, furniture, tools, paintings, men's, ladies, kids' clothing. Close to 2,000, 2,000 items of clothing. A lot of 2,000 items. Cologne, I can't, uh, definitely can't forget that. We have a lot of different colognes and perfumes now, so definitely check that out. Give me a chance. Check it out. Shop online to our uh, cologne section, and you'll see a lot of good stuff. Gucci, Christian Dior, much, much more. So check out our cologne and perfume. Also, check out our website, www.evolutionoflondon.org, O-R-G. There we have custom clothing, accessories, digital products for personal and business use. So definitely check that out. Also, check out www.evolutionoflondon.store, S-T-O-R-E. There we have accessories such as soaps and lotions. We ship all throughout North America. So... Check that out as well. Check out royalty9international.com where there's is luxury candles. The company sell luxury candles, and that's 100% natural wax, 12 ounce jars, scented as well as unscented candles. The scented candles is from frankincense, myrrh, jasmine, eucalyptus, peppermint, rose, just to name a few. Shipped throughout North America, so definitely check out royalty9international.com. They also have a social media, which is TikTok, royalty9international, as well as Instagram, royalty9international. So check the company out. If you want to put your brand on this podcast, you want to promote, email us, royalty not, well, excuse me, evolutionoflondon at gmail.com. If you want to email us and put your brand on this podcast. Same email, same email if you want to. Send a free will offering through our PayPal. That's evolutionoflondon at gmail.com. So definitely, we can use your donations as we expand it. And I also want to add on more content. And eventually, uh, more, uh, eventually start out with videos. But in order to do that, definitely need your guys' support. Before I even start with videos and stuff, it's a lot more work, a lot more editing, etc., etc. We have different links to our major. Uh, we, let me start again. We have different links to our platforms, affiliate marketing, I should say. So that is www.linktree.com forward slash evolution of London different links to other products that we do have music cheap limousine channel on YouTube we have a whole wide range of beats as you listen to right now so definitely support his brand and once you go to his YouTube channel you will see his social media site, so definitely support that. And continue on the train of YouTube, Greatness 19 channel. That's our education channel. Whole wide range of videos to open up your third eye, over 380 videos. 
So I need you guys to like, subscribe, and share, and keep passing it worldwide to family, friends, and foe on your social media platform. Also, Mr. Evolution of London, that's our health and wellness channel. We have videos on health and wellness to just keep your overall health intact, give you some great ideas, so you definitely want to like and subscribe to Mr. Evolution of London. We do have a Patreon channel, videos that is not on YouTube. That's www.patreon.com forward slash Evolution of London. There we have digital art as well as consulting services that can help you in your everyday life. So subscribe to that platform and there we can definitely assist you, especially our consulting services. Mr. Will, he's been a fitness consultant for over 15 years. If you want to book a consultation, email him at williesfitness99 at gmail.com. That's Willies, W-I-L-L-Y-Z, fitness99 at gmail.com. Support his merchandise, www.wjaaccessories.org. There you have custom clothing. Accessories as well as digital products as well. So definitely support his brand. Irie Bites. Irie Bites Cafe is Caribbean takeout located downtown London, Ontario. The address is 91 Rollinson Street North, London, Ontario. Once again, telephone number is 519 858 4743. They accept all forms of payments, including Interact, MasterCard, Visa. Please note that taxes are not included. And their website is www.irebytes.ca. That's I-R-I-E-B-I-T-E-S dot C-A. And if you have any questions or concerns, email them at info at .ca. And again, as always, you can't go wrong. Now, the Oracle 19 podcast is on all major platforms. We're on Anchor.fm, Google, Apple, Spotify, Amazon Music, just to name a few. And you also can go to www the oracle 19 radio.com find us there and any information that i haven't mentioned will be in the description box of the oracle 19 podcast as well as greatness 19 channel mr evolution of london and once again triple w dot the oracle 19 radio.com All right, well, today we're going to talk about a topic, as always, as I always say, might be triggering, controversial, but again, I'm giving my perspective, and today we're going to talk about how to be a woman, and I know women will say, well, you're not a woman, how you can, how you can tell me To be a woman and you're not a woman. I can give you my perspective. And I will. And I shall. How to be a woman. My perspective. It's piggybacking off of the last show that I talked about. What makes a whore. But how to be a woman. You know, when you watch old movies, and I know, look, that's those is like yesteryears where it's not going to be, those days is gone, put it like that. But there is, there are, and they, well, currently there's a small percentage of women out here. There's women and there's females. Women, there's like, I would say 2%, but 98% females are trash. 
But there is hope for the few of the females within that 98%, in my opinion. And again, this is what a lot of men are looking for. I know at the very end of my show last time, I touched base a little bit about, you know, different qualities of uh, different females and how they carry themselves. I touched base a little bit. But one, let's start with this. What happened to women being feminine? Is it a crime for a woman to be feminine? You have a lot of masculine energy butch type of females and I'm not even talking about being gay I'm just saying that when I mean butch it's just being hard manly no grace no style they don't even walk with as a woman they just marching like a soldier, like a man. Well, ladies, women, females, yeah, you're a woman. You're not a man. I know a lot of you women want to be men. Feel sorry for you. Have you thought about... Let's start with this. Have you thought about wearing a dress? Have you thought about wearing dresses on a daily basis? I know it's hard find, finding dresses in your local stores nowadays. Unless you go into certain small little, small little boutiques. You won't catch dresses on a... Of significance at your local Walmart. But you can shop online. I know some of y'all women, it's so difficult for you to be a woman. You you're not used to even wearing dresses. As soon as you you're not even as a baby, your mama put you in pants and tights. So you You carry a masculine energy. I'm going to focus on this. Dresses. 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 Learn to wear dresses. Change up. Tights is working out. For working out. Learn to wear dresses, 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 dresses. I'm repeating it again because this is, this is the starting point, how to be a woman, a feminine woman, a woman with grace. Try dresses. You see women out here with a bunch of tights every day. They wear it morning, noon, and night. And it's disgusting thing to even get deeper. These women don't even wear underwear. So they just leaking all over. And y'all ladies know what I'm talking about. And they wearing tights and leggings in the hot summer. So you can imagine how they smell. That's not feminine. That is not feminine. To how to be a lady. How to be a woman. You're starting off on the wrong foot. One thing, the beautiful thing about it, and you on, let's say, social media, YouTube, you can type in how to be a woman. Etiquette. I even talked about it on the previous show. Etiquette. Learn etiquette. Morals, standards. Learn how to walk with grace. 
Ladies, women, do you know how to walk? Do you know how to walk? I'm giving you the basics right now. Do you know how to walk? If you watch old films, the women had the book on top of their head. And they learned to walk slow with grace and balance. To balance the book on top of their head, it taught them how to walk. Because a lot of you walk like truck drivers. It's like dealing with another man. Pause. These is the basics. This is why a lot of men don't deal with you women, females, I should say. Because you don't even know the basics. You can't even handle wearing a dress. If you wear a dress, you look uncomfortable. Because you've been wearing nothing but tights and jeans and and been walking like a truck driver. No style. And nowadays with these jobs, they don't even want you to wear perfume. So you stink all day. Because they, in this society, gives people allergies. But which do you prefer? A person's... It it would be more offensive if I'm smelling a stinky person at the job. Then maybe I, I could take sneezing a little bit. But I can't take a stinky person around me. It's kind of bizarre how these job sites is almost promoting nastiness. In my humble opinion. Where's the style? Where's the grace? These are the basics. Female 101. Dresses. Perfume. Walking with grace. Do you know how to talk? A lot of these women don't even know how to talk. Yeah, what the fuck is going on? My, what the fuck is going on? My fuck. Nah, nah. Who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? Gee. Talking to me like I'm one of the guys. So how in the world I should treat you? Yo, 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 yo. What up, man? What? Is this Gary behind me? Oh, sorry. This is Sarah. Sarah's, I swore I was talking to Gary. But I turned, or Gary was talking to me. I turned around, it's Sarah. Sarah said, yo, 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 what up, what up? What? Oh, hey, how you doing? Mag, Sarah's so aggressive. Mag, so manly. Sarah gives me a handshake like a dude. Yo, what up, pop? What up, what up? What? I started to get nervous. I start sounding like Scooby-Doo because Sarah is very aggressive. I'm like, hmm? Hmm? Whoop, hmm? hmm? Scooby-Doo-Doo! Exit stays right. How to be a woman. These is basics. Unfortunately, your mother didn't know or never taught you. This is why, ladies, you cannot find a man. You know, what really will make you stand out as a woman, if you really want to find someone, uh, somebody decent, separate yourself, women, from the rest. Start wearing dresses. You turn a lot of heads because you would be there, especially nice dresses. We don't need to see you have the micro mini skirt that, you know, showing your underwears. And when you bend over, you can't hardly bend. 
nice conservative dress down to the knee or the ankle in the summer or the ankle in the winter. But it don't have to look like Little House on the Prairie. There's very stylish dresses out here that you can get, that you can wear. Dresses, knowing how to walk, knowing how to talk. Three things right off, off the bat to make you a better woman. Walk, talk, and, and wearing clothes. So that's three. Four, hygiene. Jesus Christ. The hygiene of a lot of you women, and you talk about men. Now, I know you men is a bunch of animals. A lot of you don't know how to... You don't know deodorant. We're going to get to the men on the next show. So I know you ladies, you're going to like that. But, you know, some of y'all men is a bunch... You know, y'all men is... Y'all smell like a bunch of animals. I, I, that's not acceptable neither. But when you have a woman smelling worse than a dude... That is, that is just not acceptable. Even ladies look at that. And it seemed like I, a lot of younger women, young women, not younger, but young women, start smelling like a bunch of hyenas. Like if I put you in the zoo, I just smell doo-doo. Hot sweat and doodle from a lot of you females. Oh, woo! I would say I had been an unfortunate, unfortunate situations to walk by women in the streets and got a and got a whiff of them. Woo! Armpits. I even had to tell some women, yo, man. Your armpits, I, I keep a trail with I keep a trail. I, I've told women, yo, man, your armpits, man, what's going on? And one woman said, you know, it's a medical condition, you know, a hormone change or whatever. And I said, no, I, I told her straight up. It's not that much hormone changes in the world. You just got to double up, triple up if you got to. Underarm deodorant. You know, get the secret because it will be a secret. Mix it with degree and then spray your favorite perfume. Hey, you can't afford it. You go to the dollar store, even though the product is not a dollar like it used to be, but two dollars, three dollars. I don't care, but that's not acceptable. You need to double up. Spray, ladies, on your clothing, underneath your armpit. Like spray, lift up your arm, and I'm and I'm keeping it real with you. Lift up, you double up, triple up. This is why I will say, even for the dudes, listen up. If you have an issue with your armpits, spray your clothes underneath your armpits. Put heavy deodorant underneath your armpits. So as you sweating. And it just soaks through on the clothes. It still give it a chance because you already sprayed with your favorite perfume or cologne. Or and then carry some deodorant on you, ladies, and perfume on you, ladies. Carry some baby powder with you, ladies. Hygiene is important. Some of you females is pretty out here, dime pieces out here, but you smell terrible. Terrible. That's not acceptable. And I'm finding more and more women out here that has poor, poor, very poor hygiene. Very poor hygiene. And I talked about that on the previous show as well. I got a lot of jewels, like close to 200 shows on this podcast a lot of jewels out here just go through it I, I, I spit some things I, 
I'm not that bad, you know? I mean, some things I know I'm controversial. Well, a lot of things I'm controversial. Okay. All right, I could be a... I could sound maybe come across as a jerk. All right, now, take it easy now. I know you're saying, yes, I can. Listen now. Take it easy. I know you're talking about me. I feel in the back of my neck. Take it easy now. Take it easy. But look... It might come across as being malicious, but I actually not. I'm just giving my perspective of what I see and what I hear, what I, you know, experience. And I know the truth could be harsh and the way I convey the information could be harsh and cruel. But I, and I really don't, I'm not coming across as malicious. I'm really not. There's no bitterness in this conversation. I'm just trying to say certain things that help you out. Because women, I want to see you... Uh, the Well, the 2% of women, they got it. But the females, I want to see you win. This is a negative world out here. So I don't want to... I want to see y'all females win. And, you know, everybody is happy. But unfortunately, that's not the real world. So I know a lot of people is not going to really pay attention to what I'm saying. They only just going to look at the the title and just say, "Oh, he hates all women." That, and that's and I talked about that before. They not you're going to have people that just only going to read the the topic of the show, and then without even listening to the content, automatically just say, "Oh, he hates all women." He's chauvinistic, he's an a-hole, yada, yada, yada. But not really un- listening to all of my content over the years. They're just going to zero in on a couple of things, pinpoint it, maybe edit, and just and it just will come across as I'm being a negative person. But here, how to be a woman. These things will make you a better woman. Hygiene, improve on it. Very important, not acceptable. Because I have, in passing, smelled women's body. Not only armpits, but their private parts through their clothing. And that's not acceptable. I'm going to just tell you something. I'm going to give you, I'm going to be even more gross right now. But I'm not trying to be. I even smelled women's period. And that's not acceptable. I never had to come across that with the elders of the yesteryears. Matter of fact, I didn't even know they had. I didn't even know my mother had it, (laughs) to tell you the truth. I had no clue. (laughs) What's the period? (laughs) I didn't know what my mother had. And it's, and I'm not just I'm just saying real talk here, real talk. I, I I in all services. I didn't I didn't know my cousins had it. I didn't know my sisters. I didn't know my mother, my grandmother. I didn't know. I didn't see nothing. I didn't see no boxes. I'm just saying the. Morals and standards That was shunned away from me That's only talked about with among women They enter the room If something was going on They out the room You didn't even know They just maybe not feeling good Whatever But I didn't even know I didn't even see A tampon box Nowadays you go to different houses You see it right on their counter Bam Whew. Why I want to see that now I know it's part of life. I get it. I hope I'm making sense. I, I didn't. I, growing up, I, maybe I'm just spoiled that way. I morals and standards was different. I didn't see my mother have that box right in front. I didn't smell her in passing. 
Oh no. I didn't smell my cousins in passing. I didn't public, let's say, facilities. You got women, they just dump it in that pass right in the toilet. Blood and all. I mean, don't you have a little standard? I mean, you know, privacy, morals, and standards. But today, you go to these women houses, they got it right there in public view. I mean, I, I, I don't you think that certain things should be private? As a woman, don't you think you should have some type of standard? Class? I don't know. I, I, no, I do know. Let me keep it real. Yes, you should have some class and standards. I don't need to see that stuff. I don't need to hear it, per se. Definitely don't need to smell you. And we're talking about public. I mean, I'm not even talking about women in the in private life. I'm just saying in public, I have smelt women. I have smelt women. Just private parts as well as underarm pits. And you find them more and more. And I'm ladies, there's countless I'm not the only one that's the thing about it you might think and this is an isolated incident I'm hearing more and more men is complaining about women and their hygiene that's a big problem and you wonder why you're not dateable you wonder why men is not marrying you they smell you So you don't know how to walk, you don't know how to talk, you don't know how to dress, you smell badly, he smelled only armpits and smelled your privates while you have your clothes on? Come on, man, come on, come on, ladies, ma'am, 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 that is not acceptable. These are the basics here. Now let's get deeper here. The average woman out here don't even know how to cook. They don't even know how to cook. Their definition of cooking is a TV dinner from the store, reheating it in the oven or in the microwave, bang, that's it. That's your dinner. How many women out here that could cook from scratch? cook from scratch how to be a woman that's a dying art cooking is a dying art their definition of cooking they may be women can what put together about two different meals and that's it Forget about baking. No baking. That's extra. Their definition of cooking is they fix a little rice, mix it with peas from the can, put a little sauce on it, cut up up a little onions. Plate one. Plate two. Put a little... Mix another uh, different combination of rice. Bake a little chicken. Plate dinner two. That's it. There's no flavor. There's no diversity. So... I mean, what? That's that's the women that that those are the women that so-called can cook. The so-called pros of today, two meals at best, and that's it. Those are the so-called ones. The ones that cannot, 
do not, and they just eat out. And not, and it's interesting. Some women, they know how to make dishes from their own country. They think they pros because they can make dishes from their own country. But what if you meet a man from a different country? Oh, they stuck. You can make rice and peas all day. But can you make macaroni and cheese? Not from the box, though. From scratch. Being a little biased because I like macaroni and cheese. So. But I'm just using it as an example. They could cook from their own background. But they... But they don't try to diversify themselves if they meet a man from a different background. That's where you will see the true skills of a woman. Because if she loves her man, she's going to elevate her game in terms of cooking different styles, different dishes to be a pro. But she, guess what? She stay one dimensional. She just said you got to accept her style. Uh uh-uh. uh, the man is the leader. You're supposed to make him happy. If he gotta risk it all to be the man to protect you, to defend you, and put his life on the line for you, then you your job is definitely to be diverse within that kitchen and cook that food. Properly and have multiple meals. Multiple. Not just two or three. I expect seven, eight, nine different dishes. That's your job. How to be a woman. Next phase. Clean the house. Clean the house. Another dying art. A lot of women do not have a clean house. Tacky. I've been to many, many, many different women houses. And we're not even talking about in terms of relationship. Some have just been business, casual, friendship, neighbors, etc. And it's not only me. I've been to women's houses and I've seen roaches on the wall all over the place and they're not even trying to and because and roaches all over the place but their clothes is all over the place. I've seen women where their clothes is in the kitchen. Why? How? What? Clothes in the kitchen floor. Underneath the table in the kitchen floor. Dishes piled up. Pizza boxes all over the place. And holes in the walls. And you didn't tell the landlord to do anything about it? I've been to people's houses. Greatness have seen a lot. I'm battle tested. I'm certified. I've seen a lot young men out here and I'm telling you this is something you don't accept and I know you're going to be frustrated because it's very very hard very very hard because you might get a nice woman with nice breasts and a big butt tox and she falls under these categories and you just say oh you know what I deal with it It's going to turn out wrong. Believe me, I've been there. And you're going to get so pissed off at these females, you're going to end up disrespecting them and insulting them. And it's not not the business. Because you're going to frustrate yourself and you shouldn't frustrate yourself. But these women and their cleaning skills is trash. So ladies, how you talk about you're going to be a good woman... You want a a big earner and he got to be six feet tall and six figures, all this. And you got all of these basic issues you're not even capable or refuse to do. 
You can't cook. You can't clean. House is dirty. Your body is dirty. You don't know how to walk. You don't know how to talk. You don't know how to dress. And this is before you even get deeper in terms of their character, their family, who their family is. You just, this is, this is what you see before why you meet and agree. So women, you get what you put in. And then not even getting into the mental illness of these women. Because in this day and time, because they have no father, they put themselves in a position, unfortunately, do ungodly things. So now they are bitter and battered and haggard women. And they're only 25, 24, no, 20, some 19, already baggered, battered, raggedy. Mentally, haggard, physically, spiritually dead. They don't even have, they're not even grounded. How to be a woman, you have to be grounded into something. I, my personal belief, you should be grounded. You, you need to have structure. And they, I talked about in a previous previous video, a, pretty, a previous show. Humans need structure. Ladies, you need structure. You need to have someone that is the head over you to balance you out because you're emotional. But you truck driving manly, burly of a woman butch issues Feel you don't need a man. You feel you can do whatever you want whenever you want. You have no spiritual, you don't have no spiritualness about you. You don't believe in the supreme being. You a lot of you women practice witchcraft, which I talked about that on a previous show. So you just out here dangling whatever. You have no structure. You have not have no religious background. I'm not telling you you should follow any particular religion. I personally, I'm a little biased. I do believe in the supreme being. I believe in the Lord. Uh, whether you want to call him Allah or Lord, God, whatever. You should have a, a, a structure, a ground base. Man and woman. Me personally, you should have a structure. With no structure, you like a runaway train without a conductor. And ladies, you need a conductor in your life. You like a runaway train with no conductor to stop and slow you down. You just go one speed and you swear you got it. This is why you caught out here just getting yourself in... Full of emotions, getting caught out here doing silly stuff. And you will continue to do silly things because you have no guidance. How to be a woman. See, so you're not grounded. And that's another, that's another thing. No structure. Here's another thing, ladies, uneducated. And it's not about getting college, university learning. Learn to read uh, and not books on just relationships. Be more worldly so you can understand when you have a worldly man and he's telling you things, you have an idea and you can flow with him. That man will be appreciative and he will look at you with higher regards because you have something in the brain. A lot of women out here, they don't even know anything. They, don't, they just know how to disrespect a man. They know that, but they have nothing in their brains 
They, as my mother and grandmother used to say, an empty wagon making a lot of noise. And that's what these women, these modern day females are about nowadays. You wonder why no, you wonder why a man do not want you, a real man. Joey might take you, or Ray Ray, or Big Mo, or J Rock might accept you all day. But not Alex, David, Chris. The businessmen in the, your circumference, they're not going to want you. You're stupid. I have to put it like that. You're stupid. You're retarded. And I'm not saying that for any disability people out here. We're just talk, giving a little metaphor and I'm being facetious right now. But you're retarded. How about that? And you're a dummy. A dummy and not in the sense of higher learning education, university type of mindset. No, just a dummy of life. If you notice, I always break it down because there's always a jerk out here. So what do you mean? I'm going to get my college degree. I'm going to be my, I'm going to be a doctor. You still could be a dummy. A street dummy, as you, we used to say in the streets. So just because you have a degree, that don't mean you're smart in terms of life. You just study well in college and you pass the exams and you elevated yourself and you got licensed up. Great, fantastic, nothing wrong with that. But you could be a unclean, backwards female dummy Sounds strange, but it's what it is. But how to be a wife, how to be a woman. These are the basics. These are the basics. This is why. And then feminists. Women have this mentality, which I talked about on previous show. Talking about feminism. How to be a woman is not to be a feminist Thinking I'm the boss You gotta kneel to me I come first Without Because see a lot of women nowadays This is why men don't want you You think you not only mentally stronger And mentally smarter than the man But nowadays you feel you even physically stronger than the man. You want to get in his face. Like I said in previous, uh, 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 previous earlier in the conversation, you're very masculine. You're ready to jump in the man's face and you the boss, you the king. You want to put your hands on the man. And if he put his hands on you in self-defense, then you got a whole bunch of stupid, simpish, soft, weak-minded men that don't even know the story. How dare you hit a woman? How dare you hit a woman? You should. You don't hit your mama. Well, guess what? I'm going to give you a scenario. And it's something my mother even told me, though. But I'm going to give you a scenario. If a woman was, if I seen a woman stomping down my mother, I would uck her up. I didn't say the curse word. I would beat her behind. If she's a woman, she's messing with my mother, I would beat her behind. No questions asked. Now you might say, you hear the woman and stuff. If I seen that woman, and this is something my mother taught me and my sister. If I seen a woman beating down my mother, 
think I'm just gonna say because she's a woman, I'm just gonna sell, stand there, say help, help, help me, help, help. I will beat her ass and think nothing of it. Now you can think I'm wrong or not. If a little kid, uh, I'm a little kid, maybe a teenager or whatever, was beating down my mother, I power drive that kid to the ground. He will be thinking he's going to hell by the time I deal with him. With all my might. And think nothing of it. Now people say, it's a kid, it's a kid. Let that kid mean a teenager. We're not talking about a toddler. <laughs> you know, somebody with strength is beating my mother. I will pile drive, choke slam that dude, grab him by the throat and choke slam that dude. He'd think he'd be going to hell. I said it twice. That's just me. In the name of self-defense, of course. Defending my mother. I'm just saying. Certain situations calls for certain actions in the name of defense. I never said I was going to delete anybody. I don't believe in deleting, okay? <laughs> I know what to say. But I will defend my mother, even if it was a female, being her down, I will defend my mother's honor. How about that? So the point I'm just saying, and I know I got off topic and I bring it back, is sometimes you have to do certain things. Just because she's a woman, that don't mean she just gets a pass. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do in the name of self-defense because these women are crazy. You have a woman with an, a weapon and coming at you, man. And she's willing, and she's have in her eyes and heart and she's trying to delete you. Well, you got it with all your might. With all your might. And she got a weapon. With all your might, detain her. <laughs> detain her. And do what you have to do. Freak, she's a woman. She's trying to end your, your life. So you got to do what you got to do. But anyway, how to be a woman. The whole point I was making these scenarios, bringing right back, is these are very, women nowadays that is very hard, very masculine. And they have no regards of knowing or wanting to know how to be a woman. So you have to... You either, you tell them that one, two times, and if they're not trying to change, you got to leave them. Because, you know, some people, they haven't learned from the previous ge generation, so they honestly don't know. A lot of these women don't really know because they wasn't trained by their mother. So you, as a man, have to teach them, coach them up. But if they're not coachable and they're not willing to learn then that's it. And sometimes it's a waste of time even trying because they're too far gone. So you have to use b better judgment. And don't be going and repeating because you shouldn't have to repeat to a person like they're a child. One or two times, one time really they should get it because they're adults. If they're not trying to change, they're not for you anyway. Let them go. I had to learn that the hard way. It is what it is. So, ladies, this is one of the reasons why you are not wifey material or girlfriend material or nowadays not even concubine material. 
because you don't know how to be a woman. So the choice is yours. If you want all of these, you want a perfect guy in your life, he got to be all of these things. What are you? What's your purpose in life? What are you bringing to the table? What are you doing to be a better woman? And I don't want to hear, I give, I, I'm here to give him peace. Peace of what? You think if your poom poom, your stinking poom poom is going to give him peace? A lot of women really honestly think that their vaginas is the best thing since sugar cane. This is old time saying like my mother used to say. Best thing since sugar cane. Sweet as honey. No, like sour milk. Believe me, a lot of the, y'all, y'all women, y'all, y'all really, let me tell you something. We're going to get really deep. Let me tell you something. A lot of dudes, just like you talk about, y'all ladies talk about a lot of, uh, about guys and how they two minute brothers or one minute or 50 seconds or 10 seconds, whatever, you know, and you do. And I tell, I'm going to talk about that too with men. You got to do better than that. But we're not talking about the men. But a lot of times, y'all, y'all ladies, let me tell you, after we finish up with y'all one or two times, it's nothing special. It's nothing special. Believe me, it's nothing special because it's not like you brand new. It's not like we meeting you brand new. We basically, we the average female, we basically, especially in their 20s, they, they on their decline. The, the vagina is trash. There's nothing tight. There's nothing exciting. We just see sagginess. Extra softness. And we're not talking about even with child related. Child related. Oh God. That, it just. you ugh, Forget it. But I can accept that. Because if you the one that procreated with that woman and you married her or going with her or something like that, yo, that's your woman, man. You know, you coach her up to work out and stuff like that, but that's what it is. You know, she never going to be the same as when she was with no children. But a lot of these women that don't have children, they trash them, man. They, and, and then they try to get these long, fake eyebrows, these caterpillar eyebrows, I don't know what the heck is going on, they looking weird and crazy, these 12 inch eyebrows, and now these crazy injections in their lips looking like Mickey Mouse, and these injections in their behinds, you got big behinds and small legs, you looking weird, your behind is hard like a football, Uh, you looking crazy. You you looking insane. I look at these some of these women, and then you're getting all different types of contacts, these weird hair colors. You looking crazy. You look like Bozo the Clown. If you and these women, some of these women, and this is not a race thing because it runs all across the races. So don't I'm not even insinuating that. Because you find all races with the weird color hairs and extensions and the eyebrows and the different color contacts and stuff. You're looking clownish. And these women call themselves dimes. I'm a 10. I'm a 55. I, you know, I'm a 100. All of these things. But if you take off the... I want to see these women in their raw form. No makeup. No extensions. No caterpillar eyelashes and let's see how they really will look some of them will look like men thank you for listening